to uh, emphasize uh, our basic uh, approach to the conflict, A, that war will not resolve these issues. No solutions can be found from the battlefield. For any solution to be found, it is important for all the stakeholders, the relevant stakeholders, to be at the table. The Prime Minister has been in close contact uh, even after his visits to Moscow and Kyiv uh, with leaders from uh, the uh, United States, uh, Russia, as well as Ukraine. We have continued our contacts at the official level also to try and explore uh, how uh, we can move uh, towards uh, bringing about uh, or uh, finding the contours of an approach that can bring everybody uh, together. Our uh, stance on uh, West Asia uh, is, uh, is, has been uh, consistent and firm uh, over a long period of time. Uh, insofar as developments over the last uh, one year are concerned, uh, we have uh, unreservedly and explicitly condemned acts of uh, terrorism. Uh, at the same time, uh, as the conflict has uh, grown and, uh, in a sense, expanded, uh, we have uh, called for uh, a ceasefire, uh, a, a release of uh, hostages. Uh, there is a, uh, a particularly uh, serious humanitarian situation which has developed, and we have accordingly called for a humanitarian corridor for access to humanitarian aid and uh, the aid to be able to get to those who are most in need, uh, as also uh, for uh, guarding against an expansion of uh, the conflict that would pull in more and more actors and make the issue even more complicated to resolve. And for that, it is important to get back to dialogue and uh, diplomacy using whatever resources are available within the region and those of actors from beyond uh, the region uh, as well. Uh, insofar as the issue of uh, one of the most important issue, issues in West Asia is concerned, which is the issue between Israel and Palestine, again, on that our position has been very, very clear. We support an independent state of Palestine. Uh, living uh, within uh, well-recognized and secure borders at peace side by side with the sovereign state of Israel uh, as its uh, neighbor. Uh, on your other question on the Russia-Ukraine conflict, uh, again, I think we have had the opportunity to answer this question from this platform earlier as well. Uh, you are aware of the uh, meetings and the discussions that have taken place uh, between uh, Prime Minister and President Putin, as well as President Zelensky. Uh, most recently, the Prime Minister also met President Zelensky in New York on the sidelines of the UN uh, General Assembly. Uh, he, we have continued to uh, emphasize uh, our basic uh, approach to the conflict, A, that war will not resolve these issues. No solutions can be found from the battlefield. For any solution to be found, it is important for all the stakeholders, the relevant stakeholders, to be at the table and for them to discuss this issue directly with each other. As you are aware, uh, the Prime Minister has been in close contact uh, even after his visits to Moscow and Kyiv uh, with leaders from uh, the uh, United States, uh, Russia, as well as Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we have continued our contacts at the official level also to try and explore uh, how uh, we can move uh, towards uh, bringing about uh, or uh, finding the contours of an approach that can bring everybody uh, together on an acceptable path towards uh, peace, and we will continue to do that.